Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the late game beast AD carry that is Vayne. I have a pro build to show you all as well from EDG alone. This is from the Wild Rift League Asia. I'm going to show you that on screen now. You can see EDG's alone build on screen. Pretty much a standard Vayne build. Blade of Rune King, really strong first item. With send Phantom Dancer, Bloodthirster there as the defensive item can be very very strong does give you a lot of ad and also physical uh, physical vamp which is mainly there for the extra little bit little bit of healing interesting enough that alone has an extra shard there not really too sure what that's going to build into maybe a static shiv or rapid fire cannon for more attack speed i don't think you really need that i think an item like uh, trinity force is a lot better as a last item but probably just realizing that he has enough gold for the shard, so it's probably the best item spike at that point of the game. Maybe it was like a late game fight, so he was like, okay, I have 900 gold. What am I going to spend that 900 gold on? Probably the best bet is shard. I would even say like maybe a sheen would be better just to get that little bit of extra damage but maybe shard is there just to get help you out a little bit with the extra damage and the extra attack speed with the tier 2 item for the runes as well pretty standard lethal tempo as the rune hunter vampirism is a bit of an interesting one again more physical vamp more of a defensive rune the physical vamp helps you a lot in the early game as well bone plating and also sweet tooth so again a lot of defensive runes and a lot of defensive items with this build with the likes of uh, hunter vampirism and the sweet tooth and and also bloodthirster right let's take a look at a little bit more in depth in the build we got blade rune king as the first item this item is absolutely great for vein vein excels at 1v1 opportunities on the map trying to go around the map trying to get them isolated one versus ones and blade rune king helps her with the 1v1 so so much a little bit of ad a lot of attack speed vein loves attack speed to get true damage on her second ability a little bit of physical vamp the rune strike passive means that every single time uh, you're going to deal bonus physical damage based on the enemy's current health which means that vein is very very good against tanks not only that but also the true damage works well against tanks and also the drain passive means that you'll be able to deal a little bit of extra magic damage and also steal the movement speed from the enemy champion so when you're in the 1v1s against the bruisers or even the assassins that drain passive will really help you steal the movement speed and really help you kite and when it comes to the team fights in the later stages of the game wits end another great item you can skip this item if you're not against any magic damage um because the magic resistance does really help you if you're not against any magic damage you can go for an item like phantom dancer as the second item if you want to but wits end overall is still a great item even without the magic resistance because you have so much attack speed 40 five percent attack speed is a hell of a lot and then you have the at wit send passive which basic attack still bonus and magic damage as well great item that gives you a lot of great stats a lot of attack speed a lot of bonus damage as well from the at wit send passive and even so while you're below 50 percent health dealing damage to an enemy champion heals you as well for 33 percent of this effects post -mit mitigate uh, mitigation sorry damage um so really really nice to get you extra healing when you're low in health to give you extra damage and also a lot of attack speed for the boots um i mean most of the time you could probably go for defensive boots mercury treads or plated steel caps i actually really like boots of fur to give you the extra movement speed the rage passive uh which is very very nice bearing in mind that if you do go for trinity force and that does have the rage passive so you probably have to skip out the trinity force completely but i do like boots of fur to give you the rage passive if you're not going to go for trinity force it's quite nice or you can go for gotten the screws for the extra omni vamp obviously omni vamp does work with the true damage on vein as well bear that in mind so glutton screws can be very very good boots and then most of the time you're just going to go for stasis as the boots upgrade then you want to go for phantom dancer again another great item a lot of attack speed we have a little bit of crit chance the crit chance is not going to help us too much um at this stage of the game so we have 25 percent crit chance but it's still really really good a little bit of movement speed and the lifeline passive means that we're going to get that little bit of an extra shield when we do drop low on health this item is going to get changed in patch 4.2 very curious how that's going to change in terms of the way vein's going to play and also with the way the item is going to um benefit with vein the way the item is going to um, do well with vein bloodthirster again as your defensive item ad critical damage and also a little bit of physical vamp a physical vamp is going to be really really important also the blood passive is also going to be very very important 
uh, physical vamp over heals you generating a shield as well so you can get that little bit of a shield at the start of the team fight then when you join the team fights that shields will help you negate quite a lot of the damage that might come from your way by bruisers or assassins or anything like that and there's your final item you can go for uh, trinity force trinity force just gives you a whole bunch of great stats spellblade passive is great because you're using abilities a lot rage passive is really good for the extra movement speed again you get a whole bunch of great stats maximum health ad attack speed ability ace all are great but i i find it interesting that alone went for an extra shard i'm just curious to see what last item you can maybe go for vein with the shard maybe something like storm racer could be good i don't know static shiv and rapid fire cannon is going to be great maybe he was going for storm razor as a last item which is not too bad maybe that's a, a direction you can go for i know that there's some players that like to go for storm razor as a first item for vein i don't think it's very good as a last item for vein but it's pretty good in the early game because you get attack speed ad and crit rate and that means you'll get 75 percent crit rate so maybe that will help you a bit but yeah 24 is just overall a great item lethal tempo stacking attack speed really really strong for vein more attack speed means you're going to be procking your uh, second ability more often to deal true damage which is going to be great hunter vampirism early game physical vamp helps you in the laning phase which is where vein can be weak and every single time we get a takedown we get more id and physical vamp bone plating going to help us block out a lot of the damage and going to protect us quite a lot and then sweet tooth again more for the laning phase and more for if we're going in for trades if we do take a lot of damage we can go back to honey fruit healing get that extra bit of healing and also a little bit of extra mana and also gain that little bit of extra gold and for the summer spells we have flash and exhaust exhaust can be changed out for ghost if you do want to go for ghost to get that little bit of extra movement speed and kite during team fights but exhaust is so good in 1v1 situations for vein that it's pretty much a no-brainer so hopefully you enjoy the gameplay of me trying out vein with this build this is by far the best build for vein and it really really shows with the gameplay that you're about to see so take care of yourselves have a good one and i'll see you all in the next part of video peace all right let's give vein a try Honestly, Zaya's going to get a pretty big buff. If the um, Essence Reaver change is the one like PC League where it has Sheen, well, it's really, really good for Zaya. Maybe. Like, you could just go Essence Reaver on, on Zaya and just do quite a lot of damage. And it can help you out a lot. I think Essence Reaver, if it has Sheen, so I think I will be really, really good. People talk to me. When well, now, Lucian, look who's breaking the rules. Darkness won't take the world. Not while I'm breathing. You're a threat. I mean, I, I don't think Zyra is the best ADC at the moment. I think she definitely lacks damage. I don't think she's like the worst ADC. It's definitely worst ADC. It's like Miss Fortune, for example. You better, you better run. A chance to wipe out a great better, you better, you better of course I run, signed up. Uh, uh, Evil must not triumph. <laughs> New look, same priorities, same perfect. Choose evil, get shot. Take the world. Not while I'm here. Mm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You make me feel like eleven. Hey, what's up, Costas? Hello, hello, hello. Do you patch change the meta for competitive, or we'll still see two support spot lane? But well, you'll still see. I mean, the the new patch is not out yet with the new ADC items. That's coming out in a couple of weeks. The new patch that was recently just was like a few small changes. It wasn't the big changes. That's in a two, that's in a few weeks. Did not back cancel the ulti? What ulti? The, the, Jace doesn't have an ulti. Jace doesn't have an ulti. Well, he does, but his ulti is changing his weapons. I stopped his dash though, if that's what you mean. Okay. I actually played that trade insanely well, but I guess I can't trade. I guess I still can't trade. It's so difficult to trade against Lucian early, but I'll outscale him anyway, so it's fine. Just heal up with my second ability and I'll be fine. A chance to wipe out a evil. Oh my god, he keeps landing poke as well. Wait, why did Thresh go Bramble Vest? Is he, re is he really that worried about my healing? Darkness won't take the world. Not while I'm breathing. I don't need another weapon. Okay, not bad. Dude, have you played uh, Charge Blade Kaiser yet? No, I don't really like Charge Blade Kaiser. I've actually been playing Wits End Kaiser recently. I think Wits End Kaiser is a lot better. I think Wits End Kaiser is actually pretty insane. You should go for like a more on hit build with Wits End, Mortal Reminder, PD. I also like Kraken Slayer as well. Maneuver. Friends, I tolerate. Some people just automatically go anti heal. I mean, we don't really have a lot of healing on our team. That's the weird part. Just give me a bolt and tell me where to aim. <laughs> Calling my shot. I thought Zoe was going to stay bot lane. That's why I went mid. Of course I signed up. Enemies I outmaneuver. Friends I tolerate. That TF is so low. Who's playing tomorrow? There's two best of fives tomorrow. A chance to wipe out Gen G T one and G two Mads tomorrow. Cool nice, well played. More. Um, I was gonna say more Garner and say Karma. Nice, well played, Kha'Zix. Really well played. 
Just give me a bolt and tell me where to aim. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I probably need Merc Treads this game. Actually, no. Merc Treads seems so bad. Merc Treads feels really, really bad this game because they have Fiora, Jace. TF's going to be auto-attacking, but Merc Treads is so important. Unless I just go QSS. I can also just go QSS for gold cards. Not enjoying the end of the world. Nice meteor. Unlucky. Oh, it's really unlucky. Jump away, jump away. Nice cars. X well played, well played. That's really unlucky. I flash forward to try and kill the uh, the um, oh, that's kind of unlucky. I think he's also gonna die as well because the minions. Yeah, that's really really bad. That's a six and one TF. Oh, at least at least Karma got the shutdown. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I flash forward to try and kill the Thresh, which I did, but then I just did too much damage afterwards. Well, I didn't do enough damage afterwards, I should say. Well played, Karma. Well played, well played. So I get a cool bow, but... Shame I couldn't do enough damage there. Holy. Holy. Yeah, what I do this game, should I just go QSS chat? I think it's just a QSS angle and I go plate still caps. Darkness won't take the world. Not while I'm breathing. Oh no, there's a freaking T up here. Nice. Cheeky little double kill. I'm really low. I'm really, really low. Kha'Zix doing this is super risky. Uh, I think I just get plated still caps and I go for QSS. New look, same priorities. Same perfect aim. Yeah, say I'm star, say thank you. Enemies I outmaneuver. Friends I tolerate. Kha'Zix, please. Kha'Zix, please. Just do it. Holy moly, Kha'Zix. I don't know why he was so scared for. He could just Q smite. Kha'Zix is kind of like Nunu in a way where you can just Q smite. Oh, my battery's low. All good, though. Uh, I ain't, I ain't, but it would be I need 400 go. Oh, I did this too early. Oh, I did that too early. I didn't have my tumble. I need 100 golds. Darkness will take the world. Like, why is Zoe here? Hello, you're losing mid lane farm, Zoe. It's actually not that bad. Can we get the TF here? Nice, well played. Good collapse. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back for PD. Uh, I'm gonna go top lane, grab that top lane farm, go for Bloodthirster, also go for Quicksilver. Nice. It's actually super annoying the Fiora dash there and it kind of messed up my E. I was waiting for her to go towards the... Um, I was waiting for her to go towards the um, towards the wall to use my E, but then she just dashed away. That's cool, though. I mean, we're doing fine this game. The Twisted Fate is still a little bit scary, but... Enemies I outmaneuver. Friends I tolerate. Pretty sure I can 1v1 anyone. Maybe I can even 2v1. So I get a cool bow, but people talk to me. When some do some. Calling my shot. New look, same priority. Might as well just go and keep same on farming. Aim. Hello, Karma? Huh? Darkness can't Darkness won't take the world. Not while I'm breathing. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice try with the stun card, buddy! Nice try with the stun card. The perfect QSS. Perfection. We love to see the perfect QSS. The TF stun card does nothing. Beautiful. Perfect. Be oh, God. He knocked my thing over. The perfect QSS. So I get a cool perfect. Bow, but People talk. Server EU? Yeah, I'm on EU server. Uh, I shouldn't really be taking a red buff here for the Karzix, but it's kind of whatever. I mean, he's not coming down to take it, so... It's like, you might as well just carry on the cycle. A chance to wipe out a great yeah, and as I mentioned, I can just pretty much play side lane this game. So I can 1v1 anyone. Go for Bloodthirster next. They have. Oh, they had TF ulti and everything. My bad. My bad. I mean, they used everything on me there. Hello, guys. Can we get top lane in him? There's guys, there's two people bot lane. Hello. Oh, we get mid lane hip. I mean, that's also fine. Oh, good lord. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. We go for Drake now. That's that's my bad. I also missed time my QSS. I was trying to QSS the slow from the um from the thresholdy. Uh, final item, probably Triforce. Just give me a bolt and tell me where to aim. Or we can maybe go something like Storm Razor last item. Storm Razor is not that bad on Vayne. Maybe we can go for it. Or another attack speed item. Could be pretty good. Maybe not Storm Razor, maybe something else. Static, maybe? Not enjoying the end of the world, but at least I know what to do. I mean, anything can be really good. Get 
What? Do you have Merc Treads? He has Merc Treads. Oh, no wonder my Condemn did nothing. New look, same priorities. Same perfect aim. The Holy moly, that damage. Darkness won't take the world. Not while I'm breathing. Oh, they ended. Nice! I was thinking about to buy last item. Storm Razor, Stack Shiv, Trinity Force could also be good. Anything, anything could be good. Anything could be good there, to be fair. Really clean game, though. Really nice, clean, clean game. My Karma still did more damage to me, but that's a Karma in a nutshell. That's Karma in a nutshell. A really, really good game. 21,000 damage. It's a really cheeky outplay. It's that, oh, that perfect Quicksilver is so satisfying. Like, the TF stun card hits you, but you Quicksilver at the perfect time, and it can't CC you. It's just, I love it. It's beautiful. GG's though. Great game. GG's.